Welcome back to These Two Hands. Uh, I'm Jason Baker. Um, we are back working in the shop on the Lachero, getting ready to stick the engine and transmission in. Um, sorry, I haven't had a video out for a while. Kind of got sick for a while. COVID came in and, well, I got it first and infected my entire family. And that kind of took us out for about 10 days, two weeks. Um, so I just haven't been out here doing as much as I'd like to. Um, but this updates for uh, Cheryl and Ray. Uh, speaking of, I, I hope you're feeling well, Ray. Uh, I heard you weren't you weren't feeling 100%. Um, so I hope you're hope you're better. Hopefully this will this will help make you better. We're getting closer. Um, so I will I'll just grab the camera and I'll show you what we got. So. Here's the new engine, uh, made it to the transmission. Um, everything's new, no used parts, no used anything. I've got, whew, looks like a little close. Back it up, oh, I can't back it up. Uh, pretty much got every hole plug that's with all the yellow tape and blue tape and rags in the intake and rags in the exhaust. Um, but uh, we got new bolts in, uh, they're all Loctited. Hopefully, this shouldn't have to come back apart again. Um, now, the engine and transmission may have to come back out again. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let me show you why. So, oh Lord, it's dark in there. Gosh, you get more light in your shop so the, you guys can see on the camera. Well, let's grab one of those. We'll get back over here. All right, so once we get the engine in here, let's see if I can just set this down here, right here. This angle right here is terrible. And beyond being terrible, it hangs up when you turn the wheel in one spot to the point where you really have to force it to turn it. So I got to figure out that geometry a little bit better, whether I get two U-joints and spread the, the, the turn back here to the, the um, rack and pinion. Um, I don't know, but the engine's gotta go in first to find that out. So that's one issue. Um, one of the other issues that I had mentioned before is there was a check engine light on and I'm hoping that right there, ooh, can you see it? Probably not. Right here. So I'm hoping this was it. Uh, I found a burnt connector uh, that goes to a, an exhaust sensor. Um, and when I tried to diagnose the check engine light to find out what that was before I took the engine out. Um, I plugged in my uh, scan tool to the OBD sensor or port and it said I had no power. And I don't know if this guy here was part of that, obviously. Let's see if you can see it. Yes, no, maybe so. I can't see it on the screen very well, but this wire here is torched um, and it isn't connected to anything. Uh, it was just tied up and stuck back somewhere. And I, when I pulled it out, I wasn't sure where it went to. It looks like it's a power wire. It's been whoop, butt connected and just kind of left alone. So. I'm hoping that is possibly a power wire to the, uh, the OVD port that will allow me to diagnose the problem. Um, if that's not it, it's somewhere, let me back up, in this spaghetti. Uh, the whole harness was just kind of laying on everything, everywhere, and not tidied up and, and secured down so it didn't get burnt or, you know, 
fall into a fan or, or a belt or, or rub on anything. So that's what's next. Um, I'll go put this camera back on the stand and we'll get to putting this engine in. And I'll just do a time lapse on the, the install of the engine, but we'll leave the camera rolling. So, where are we at? All right, let's just go ahead and back it up. Kind of give a, hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right. Oh, I think we're back on there. Oh, I can't see very well. Horrible with the camera. Well, I will fast forward and get things time lapsed and we'll see if we can't get this thing stuck in here.
Oh, so it's in. Uh, that didn't take too long. Uh, I just had to get the transmission mount lined up. It, it slides in and then bolts through. So once you get it slid in, it's good to go. Um, and I know there's everybody who's watching is like, I see a lift right in front of you. Why didn't you lift it up so you could walk under it and then set it in? Well, problem is, here's my dog digger. This whoop, right here is an inch and a half ledge. And the front of the vehicle sits about here. So I can't wheel my cherry picker in there. So I just left it that way. So I can then just push it forward and now we can do the rest of the, the install up on the lift. Um, it did remind me though of how much I hate working on a creeper. Um, creepers, I, I grew up using them, um, but I bought this lift for a reason. It just happened to be that it, this is causing me a problem. I may have to pour some concrete, I guess. Um, and smooth that out because it is a pain in the neck. So, anyway, uh, Cheryl, Ray, the engine, it's back in the bay. It may have to come up and out to, well, let's, let's have a look. Oh, let's see if I can get in here real quick. So, that back there, that steering thing that's all messed up, is why the engine might have to come back out. I think I can get in there. Um, it looks like it's pretty accessible from the back. Um, so, yeah, there might be enough space to, to make it work. So, yeah, so she is in there. Um, brand new, shiny, looks beautiful. Uh, all the mounts are fit like a glove. Everything fit perfect. So the next video, we'll be working on the steering um, to get that right off and see if we need to finish, if we can finish bolting it in. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.